Actually, it was great. It was absolutely great. And and it started long be, uh, before we started shooting the film, when we first met each other in Australia. But we worked for at least a week on the script with our wonderful directors. And um, and that, that that was the real sort of foundation for what the film then beca became. Um, because we had to, you know, neither of us had done a f film of this genre before, mm. and really beginning to understand you know where you let your imagination go what you have what has to be absolutely real how you deal with the psychology of it so all of those things we sort of had to work out in that first yeah. week didn't we and it's yeah. interesting they're all over it i mean there's two of them yeah i mean it was so because it would be in a very dark studio and the lighting is often quite dark <laughs> so you'd think i'd come out i'd think I'm and then we'd come and do something and I'd and it's just like what are you talking about? Well, we just spoke about this when you and I talk <laughs> yeah. about it. And you were oh my God, it's your brother, wasn't it? Oh, do you know what I mean? So it led to a lot of different kind of things, but they, it meant they were able, really able to divide their time and, 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 just, uh, and just constantly keep working it and chiseling it. And well, it's fascinating. It. They are ob obviously identical twins. Yeah. So, you know, it takes you at least two weeks or maybe three to, to really get to understand who is who. But it's very clear uh, once you start working with them, they fulfill, and this is what's so brilliant about them, is they full, they, they complement each other perfectly. Yeah. They're like two exactly matching interlocking parts, very different, but, uh, but they balance each other out. So one of the brothers is the quiet one who watches, occasionally will come in and give you an amazing acting note, very quiet. The other brother is much more, um, forceful and 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 mm. a, uh, verbal and m seems to be m in control but actually it, it's the two of them they, they complement each other it's fascinating it's like working with one director who just has become two yeah i think on a viewing level it's mm. endorphins i mean you know your body releases chemicals when you have a good scare or when you're leaning into something or you're listening or you're waiting you're anticipating and then bang it catches yours by surprise, you, you know, it's, it's, you know, it, when they're done well, it's a, it's a great night at the cinema, yeah. you know, like a great ride at the theme park. It, it's, uh, it takes you out of the ordinary. And I think everyone has, if they don't necessarily believe in ghosts themselves, they know people who've had experiences. Um, the, the terrible, and everyone has experienced loss, and the need, the desire, the, 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 the sadness of not being able to speak to that person again. So the whole, you know, the existence of spiritualism, and we all as children have, you know, had, I, I don't know about you, but we always used to have, uh, you know, Ouija board and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so we're all fascinated. Uh -huh. And many, many people, many people believe in the, uh, culturally, in the history of mankind, people have believed in, in the existence of spirits and the spirit world, and that being very present in our physical world. So I think it's an eternal in, in human imagination and understanding.